So, uh, instead of an Easter egg on the piano today, you get to see what the office normally looks like uh, when I don't do a lot of setup for video recording. Um, so as you can see, there's a, a lot of different uh, uses uh, that this room goes through, and it's not just a dedicated studio. And I've been uh, sort of experimenting over the past while with producing a series of videos, and I want to talk today a little bit about the tools that I use for that and uh, some of the things that I've learned. Uh, for a camera, I'm using the Logitech C930E, uh, which works right out of the box with Debian. Uh, the 1080p mode won't work for me because I don't have any USB 3 ports on my computer, but it's way more than I need for what I'm doing here anyway, and uh, it has a nice wide angle and pretty good features. Uh, it has a pretty nice microphone in it too, but I don't use it because it's so far away from me, uh, so I got a separate mic instead. I have a Snowball Ice from Blue Microphones, which sits on this small boom stand right on my desk uh, for all of the audio recording. It also works out of the box over USB with Debian, and uh, it's done a really good job. It's a mono microphone, uh, but since I use it mostly for videos where I'm talking and for podcast recording, uh, it's worked really well. I often try and put uh, some couch cushions around the room to help with echo dampening. My office is pretty small and it's full of hard surfaces. It helps a little bit. Uh, I still need to play around probably more with that. I also keep the gain on the mic really low and then amplify everything later to try and help with noise reduction. For lighting, I do something a little weird. I use a lot of natural light from this window, uh, and then I sort of supplement that with uh, the main light in my room. And then I've got a desk lamp here that helps sort of fill in this side. And then when it's dim outside, like it is right now, I have a second desk lamp here uh, for for helping fill that in. For software, I use a variety of different Libre tools. Uh, I've tried some different ones over the course of this. I'm sure it'll change a little bit as I go even further, but I found a set that at least works pretty well for now. Uh, for recording, I use GOVC View. It's got a lot of nice different options for settings on the camera. The biggest problem it has is that it won't create files over two gigabytes, uh, but I get around that by recording each clip individually instead of recording one long clip that I edit pieces out of later. Every clip that I record uh, goes through Audacity uh, for audio processing to amplify. Like I said before, I keep the mic gain really low, but also uh, to do noise removal so that I can get rid of persistent background noises like my computer fan or the furnace in my house. I recombine the Audacity audio with the original video using FFmpeg. I could probably do this with my video editor at this point, but uh, when I started out it was easier to do it this way, and so I've just kept it as part of my work workflow. With the two different USB devices, one for capturing video and one for capturing audio, there's about a seven frame delay every single time that I produce it. It's always the same size, so I just fix this up uh, at this point with the FFmpeg switches. End cards, thumbnails, and the like are produced using Inkscape, and then I combine everything together using Caden Live, which I've found to be the most stable and performant video editor for the kind of work that I'm doing here, where it's just mostly splicing together a lot of small clips. Caden Live has a nice little uh, audio waveform overlay that uh, lets me easily slice the silence off the beginning of end of each clip, uh, which is the bulk of the work uh, at this point. So once I've got that rendered down into a WebM file, then I upload it to my torrent server and YouTube and sometimes Facebook. And then it's uh, the big job of trying to figure out how to convince people to watch it, which uh, uh, is definitely the part I have not figured out a lot yet. Uh, I think there's definitely a lot of different marketing things that I still need to try, and also just in terms of content, uh, a lot of my work up to this point has been focused on getting the videos to be uh, watchable and a reasonable quality, but there's probably a lot more that I can do uh, in the content itself to, uh, to really uh, pull in the right kind of audience. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching that brief summary of the tools that I use, and I hope that you'll subscribe to just uh, keep following along this journey with me. I'm going to do a couple more of these sort of in-between videos before I get the next series started, so uh, we'll see how that goes.